Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, we are finally using my 4312 system. I mean, it's a system I love. I have enjoyed it because there are so many possibilities with the 4312 because of the way it controls the pitch. And uh, I just like the system. I mean, I, I do play other systems. I do normally try other systems out when I get bored, but I eventually revert to some form of a system that comes close to this. And... Uh, Welcome to Bustanet. Yes, this is the channel where I play a game called Football Manager. Yes, there's a video cha YouTube channel where I play a game called Football Manager. And uh, we are managing this club in uh, the year 2027. This is a uh, Kingstonian, a little known club uh, that rose through the tiers. Uh, we have been with the club for quite a while now. Uh, I've been managing this club. One of our stars is a former Liverpool boy. Uh, he was in the. He was with Liverpool. He started out from the academy, then went on loan. Never really fulfilled his promise. We purchased him for three point two eight, and look at him now. He's like key to the way we play. Liam Coyle, hero of our side, um, has done pretty well for us this season. One of our ball-winning midfielders. And the club has not done badly. We won the Europa Cup last season against all odds. Um, I, I wish that there was a way in this game that we could have an attacking and a defending tactic. Literally, I mean, choosing another tactic. But I can understand the challenges that poses because we had the Wimbo screens or the with or without ball screens many years ago where we could actually tell the players where to go when they were defending. And now, that's gone because uh, people like me were exploiting it. <laughs> and it, there was no way the AI could beat us uh, humans because we would come up with all kinds of ridiculous little schemes to deny the AI space. Unfortunately, we hope that one day the AI is smart enough so that we can do stuff like that again. Uh, meanwhile, back here, uh, we've been using this 4312. I'll go through this tactic much later. Um, it's a simple tactic, actually. I played on control. I played on fluid. People might wonder why am I playing on fluid. Well, honestly, I want my transitions to influence a lot of players and... Uh, Sometimes uh, it's done well. Sometimes it fails. It's a very risky system. Uh, I'll be the first to admit it. It's extremely risky, um, and uh, it, de it demands those. It demands a lot out of your three midfielders, and of course, uh, you really can't play the system with slow defenders. We have one slow defender called Damien De Hoyos. I'm a nutter. I go out there. I pay a lot of money for this guy. I mean, did I pay a lot of money? I can't remember now, but I think I. Did pay a fair bit for him, 2.5 million. Yeah, in our books, that's a lot of money. We were running from racing club, and we thought he'd have a lot of potential, but he's a bit slow, so we're, we're, we're grooming him. A lot of players can't play because we're stricken with the uh, homegrown at club rule. We can't feel for under 20, uh, who have been with the club for uh, four seasons, right, between the ages of, uh, un, um, before they were 21. So uh, that's one of the downsides. Uh, we've had by getting ourselves promoted so quickly. Uh, in terms of finances, we're doing pretty well. Uh, last season, this is down to transfer market spending. Uh, generally, we made a profit last season of 31 million. Uh, we're down 30 million, but I suspect that we should be fine because the overall balance is pretty, pretty healthy. We have never had problems with money. The board is very happy with me in terms when it comes to money. Uh, in terms of the competitions, we started. My preseason is always the same. I try things out, but slowly now I'm settling on my system. I don't. I'm gonna reach a point where I don't really care about preseason anymore. Uh, we lost to Manchester United in Europa Super Cup. Um, we tried things out in this uh, this uh, match. Didn't really care about this uh, trophy very. I, I wasn't really focused on it because uh, I was more worried about my first league game against Wolves. We beat them, we beat Brentford, we drew against Chelsea, we drew against Norwich. And this is the Champions Cup, or rather the Champions League. I mean, what do you call this group? We're in Group F. Every No one has won. I mean, the goal difference is zero. Do we follow the rules of the World Cup? Are, are there going to be yellow cards and stuff like that? I don't think so. Kingstonian have not won a match, neither have Olympic Marseille. And Bayern and Villarreal can say the same. Uh, and we have a very tough game against Bayern Munich coming up. We're traveling away. <laughs> away from home. We've had some very good wins. We've we humped, thumped, humped. It's not the right thing to say about Leicester City. We we destroyed Leicester City 4-0. Um, 
and then we beat Derby. We had a very nice win over Spurs, 3-1 win. And now we are going to uh, Bayern Munich with a 4-3-1-2. Uh, Bayern Munich are coming in with a 4-2-3-1. They're going to be very attacking down the right flank, which puts a lot of pressure down my left. I'm gonna move uh, coil over to the. I'm gonna move coil over to the left, so that um, I get him. Like he's a, he's not a fantastic Manzala because he does a lot of flair. But thing about him is that he might be able to be a disruptive on this flank. Uh, Gwenoch, Swallow, Palmer, Brown. Uh, they're gonna be playing in defense. We've got Swallow as well. I've got lost. I'm also gonna ask Mick Morris to play on the right flank. Um, the challenge is whether I want to... I'm going to change this as well. We're away from home. I probably am going to be a lot more defensively orientated uh, with my 4 3 one Normally, I'm pretty aggressive. <laughs> we, we tend to play on um, attack duty. Uh, we have roam from positions. But for this match, we're going to play with a... Hopefully, with a system that keeps a clean sheet. <laughs> And here we are. Uh, my opposition instructions are all set up. They're all this, always the same. Okay, so we are the underdogs. Let's go, boys. Everyone correct Galia to ring. I'm going to be looking at these two boys very carefully. Now, there's a, there's a part of me that says I want to get them to close down more. Yeah, but I'm going to have to decide that based on how these two guys play. Ring, Galia... The coil doesn't get there. Mm, they get back into position. McMorris. Okay. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do with McMorris now, I'm going to try something really... Oh, shik kebabs. Triple S. But I want you to close down. More tackle harder. Mike Taita. On the right flank. Let's see how that does. Go just one small change to this first because I want to try and control the right flank a bit more with a bit more aggression. Balachi and he goes in early. Good defending. Ring plays it out wide to Henriques. They play it back to Balwards. Uh, three players are there. Phelan does brilliantly. Galliard. Everyone Cardenis can't get there. Balachi now with the ball. Morris does brilliantly. Manages to shut out Palm. They are they are attacking mids. Cressy to ball once. That's his name. Uh good reading by Ganosh. Plays it to Coil. Coil out to Galliard. Galliard, what a pass of it. Square. What a goal from Phelan! Oh, I thought I was going to square for everyone currently. He's fine. Go! Yes! What a start from. I didn't expect this. I thought I was going to get hammered in this game. But we had to make one quick change. And I'm hoping that that quick change works. Okay. I'm looking at this flank. And I'm because this flank has got coil there, he's going to be tackling them. And I'm Balachi. And this guy was a bit of a nuisance early in the game. He's got acceleration of 17. And he's crossing a 16. I, I want to... I wanna, I'm hoping that my instructions for Morris are correct. <laughs> if they aren't, I'm in trouble. It was a quick start from uh, Kingstoni and Gwenosh to Goliath. Goliath plays it to Ring. Ring or... Henriks. Under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Swallow. What a ball out. Coil comes back. He slides it for Phelan. Phelan squares it from Evran Karadenis. But he can't bury that chance. It's a really difficult opportunity for Evran Karadenis. Okay. Oh, boys. I have to contain myself. Eric Palmer Brown with the yellow card. That was quick. That's not good, actually. It's the right it's the right flank where I am a bit concerned. I would I wish they would show us highlights as to why he gets a yellow card. Belachi Murich gets there, gathers the ball brilliantly. Kingstonian leading by Munich at the Alliance Arena by a goal to nil. Galliard. This is a uh, Morris. Morris goes in. I mean, I did exactly what I wanted him to do, but they've equalized. 
Oh man, Morris missed this challenge. Bayern Munich have leveled the match. I mean, I did ask Morris to do this, right? So he just didn't go in. Nah, he did. He went in and he missed the challenge. That's acceleration for you. Evran Cardenis, wild. I know it's it's risky. I hear you guys. Yes, it is very risky. But if I don't, then he sits back. And if I sit back and let him get by, he might be able to cross the ball and it'll be another problem for us. Balwans. Uh, oh, no. Ooh. That was interesting. Luke Swallow is not having a good game. 6.4. Um, and Evran Cardenis is dropping 6.5. Okay, boys. We go to the old-fashioned shouts, which I honestly don't think does anything for me, but I just like the sensation I can click something on the screen and something might happen. Okay, so far, we're, they're playing much better than we are. So, okay, 6.4, 6.4. We have three 6.4s. They have none. So, this is not looking good. Um, I have to do something about it. You sober, relevant. Make Morris six point four. He's got acceleration, but tackling of only twelve. Can't I can't take him off. Belachi to Nand. Belachi. This is exactly what I wanted them to do. Force them into making the early cross. It goes into the middle where I've got more players, and hopefully that's enough. Eh. Yeah. So here against Bayern Munich is one one. Luke Soller is 6.3. Mario is 6.6. .6. Mick Morris now picks up a yellow card as well. So the right flank is vulnerable. Okay, so this is where I have to do the dangerous thing of bringing him over. Uh, I'm going to push Mario up and ring in the middle. Terry Hill, can I call on your services? Okay, mm, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna take Terry. I'm gonna take one of these defenders off. Luke Swallow is not bad. He's quite fast. Uh, Terry Hill is a bit slow. I don't really have much options going to the bench. It's like the best players are on the pitch at the moment. Oh no, free kick. Balachi now into the box. They clear the danger. Oh, they don't. Troncoso, Morris again. Cressy cleared by ring. Um, again, they come back. Good defending. Evran Karadinis, he's they don't give him time on the ball. Okay, Morris Balachi out wide. He's gonna cross the ball. It's Miguel into the hands of Murich. What can we do? Okay. We are gonna lose this game. I have no tactical options for the first time ever. I'm playing a game. I don't have options on the bench. Belachi, free kick. Uh, Campos. They shoot and it's wide. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna take one play off. I'm gonna take off uh, Luke Swallow. And bring on uh, Terry Hill. Um, Got to push. I, I'm not taking off Evran Karadinis. This is emo, emotional play here. I don't take off my favourite player and put on somebody else there. Instead, what I'm going to do... This is this is one of those games where I don't know what I'm going to... I really... I'm, I'm too emotionally... Um, Invested in my players. Okay, we're gonna turn him into a tank. I got Thomas Dolzal. I'm gonna bring him on. For okay, we're gonna take off. We got okay. I'm gonna take off Kara Denise, push Galliard forward, and bring on Dolzal for Aaron Kara Denise. Evran Karadinis is not Evran Karadinis is not having a good game. Oh, this is a dangerous little set piece. We've cleared the danger. Ring has the ball, plays it to Phelan. 
feeling mm-hmm. we don't have Callum Higgins on board it's a corner that we have oh it's a goal kick thank you very much by minute one Kingstonian one can we hang on they go wide good work Mario to Dolezal Dolezal to Feelin Feelin to Galliat oh good work from them but we couldn't make that chance count Mick Morris out on the flanks is more it's oh no it's Van der Dusen shots blocked Dolezal out to Feelin Feelin looks for oh he couldn't release the strikers this is a long clearance out to Nen Belachi under some pressure. Mick Morris. It's a big cross to Hakim Gunosh. And this is going to be red. Van der Dusen down the flanks for Troncos. It's wide. We are into stoppage time. Okay, we're going to make one more change. Um, we're going to bring on Villavert for Mick Morris. Because right now. Uh, we don't really have much of a choice. We need players who can tackle at least. Troncoso, he's on a yellow card. Oh, it's a cross. It's not going to prob- give us an issue. Oh, this good work from the boys. No, 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 Miguel. Close. 94 minutes. Uh, for me, this is a ma- massive result. If I can c- come to the Alliance Arena and get a point, this is another draw in the Champions League. Unbelievable. It's going to be another draw in the Champions League. Are we Are we about to do it? Alliance Arena. I never thought I'd see this. I mean, we're not even ready for the Champions League. But we have done it. We have done it. We have gone to the Alliance Arena. And we have come away with a well-deserved point in the Champions League. This is crazy. So now the Champions League will see Olympic Marseille on five points. Olympic Marseille have got the first win in the tournament. Kingstonian are second on the table with three who have not lost yet. Three points. And then Bayern Munich have yet to record their first win and Villarreal have recorded their first defeat. And this is going to be an interesting group of death. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, some of you might be wondering how I set my 4-3-1-2. This is... Me, I, I like 4 3 one twos, and I'll play my 4 3 one two tactics because I enjoy them. Uh, the tactic is set up in control fluid. Now, people might ask, why am I playing out fluid? Well, fluid is a bit risky, actually, come to think of it, but my players aren't that, aren't that good. And uh, I want more of my players involved in transition so we don't give the ball away. Because if I give the ball away somewhere around here, I'm in a lot of trouble because uh, <laughs> chances are I'm going to concede goals. Um, Okay, in terms of the shouts, I'm using width because I want to encourage the use of my wingers and my wing. Sorry, encourage the use of my fullbacks when they get into wider positions. Uh, play out of defense naturally. We want to work the ball from uh, defense to goal, pass into space because of true balls. And then on the flanks, I've got this guy who's who's got been told to do close down less, right? Because I want these guys to do the work. However, uh, in some cases. I'm actually going to tell him to close down more. It depends on the match like you just saw just now. Uh, more direct, more risky because I want him to sling those ICBM passes down the you know down the channel for these two guys to run on to. Everyone currently needs to not have a very good game today. Uh, I probably, I, I dare say it's because his love, you know, his love brother is not playing. You know, Callum Higgins has been a super player for us this season. But he's injured, so he can't play. Uh, up to, and then in s- defense, we've got centre backs. We've got the other fullback doing the same thing as this fullback. Why sit narrow? Because I want them to help the midfielders through the midfield transition. Here we've got a ball-winning midfielder. Here I've got DLP who's been told to play more direct. Sometimes I ask him to do more risky passes. The Mazala has got more risky passes on Mark Taito. Tackle other close down more dribble less. Depends on the player playing here. If he's got good dribbling, I will uncheck that. But here we have got poor dribbling. Here we've got an attacking playmaker. Sometimes I play him on an attack duty. Sometimes I play him on support duty. It all depends on how much I want to push. Uh, then we've got deep line forward and support, and we've got an advance forward on attack. And uh, at the the goalkeeper, well, he is decision, basically driven by decision making. Now, things I do in a match to change things, um, 
I sometimes go roam from positions when I can't get a goal. Uh, I will sometimes unlock this guy and turn him into a fullback and attack. Depends on the situation and who I'm facing. Um, if I want my wing backs to thrust up, I will. But here, in this particular, is most defensively orientated against Bayern Munich. We wanted to deny them a lot of easy chances uh, coming from their dangerous uh, avenues of attack, which is the flanks. So I asked him to close down more because this was where they were. I was more. Wor I was actually more worried about this flank than I was with this flank because Gunosh is not bad. And we had ring, uh, we had coil here for a long period of time. So these two players can really do a good job in controlling this area of the pitch. So I wasn't too worried. I was more worried about this flank. So I wanted to shut out this one player that they had who could cross the ball. So essentially, that was basically how we played the tactic. And our next match is going to be against Watford. And I'm hoping that against Watford, we do okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. Uh, if you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com or website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel. You make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.